Tragically, Shelley Duvall passed away at the age of 75 after spending decades alone after quitting Hollywood in 2002. The actress, whose agonizing depiction of Wendy Torrance in Stanley Kubrick's 1980 horror film The Shining solidified her position in cinematic history, died on Thursday due to complications from diabetes while she slept. With the exception of a brief return to film in 2023 in the Forest Hills, the former star of Hollywood circles had spent more than 20 years living a modest existence in Texas, frequently sleeping in her car and gazing over old film that she stored in the glove box. While battling escalating health issues, Duvall listened to music and took advantage of the warm Texas weather. A fan club member revealed that she celebrated her 74th birthday in 2023 with iced coffees, sugar cookies, and colaches. In her farewell interview in April, Duvall disclosed that she quit the movie business because she felt hurt by people in Hollywood. I was a star. I had leading roles, she remarked in an interview with the New York Times. It's not merely aging, unlike what many believe. It is aggressive. Duvall would not describe the specific type of violence she experienced. She went on to question the writer what would happen if everyone was really kind to them, and then all of a sudden, on a dime turn on you. In the interview, it was also disclosed that Shelley frequently slept in her white SUV, which was filled with leftover takeout containers. Due to her diabetes, Duvall's foot was swollen, so she jumped around talking about different topics and song lyrics for the majority of the interview. In a bag that was crammed into her glove box, she also preserved pictures from her old movies. Regarding her previous mental health issues, her life partner Dan Gilroy with whom she had been together since 1989, stated. She became paranoid, kind of delusional, thinking she was being attacked, he said, and would even call the FBI for help. It went south like that, he continued. Gilroy added that they relocated to Texas in search of a better life after her Los Angeles home was devastated in the Northridge earthquake in 1994. It was then that things went south, and she began to get scared of things and maybe didn't want to work. Duvall celebrated her 75th birthday on Sunday by posing with a superfan in the last known picture of her. This was taken just four days before her passing. The admirer, who manages a Shelley Duvall fan page, disclosed that the actress has been experiencing health issues for the last few months. Shelley is carrying a bunch of flowers and leaning on the fan's shoulder in the picture. In her letter, Sarah said, I will always be thankful for the memories I made with her and the opportunity to be a comfort and companion to her. She turned 75 years old on Sunday, when this picture was taken. When I departed, she expressed her gratitude and thanked me for making her feel better. I will never forget that. She had such a positive influence on both my life and hers. The fan also disclosed that in Duval's last days, she had performed the hit song Espresso by Sabrina Carpenter for her. In an interview from February 2023, Duvall stated that her choice to leave Hollywood in 2002 to be closer to her family was motivated by heartbreak in the family. After learning that her brother had spine cancer and that her movie parts were winding down, she told people that she made the decision to return to Fort Worth, Texas, stating, It's the longest sabbatical I ever took but it was for really important reasons to get in touch with my family again. She paused to consider her achievements in the performing industry, stating, Popeye and The Shining are on different channels. There are two distinct movies, man. That is, however, somewhat of a gosh, I was great moment. She also expressed her aspirations for the biggest accolade in acting, stating, Jessica Tandy won an Oscar when she was 80 years old. I'm still going to win. Duvall's unwavering passion for the arts would eventually persuade her to come out of retirement. She co-starred with Edward Furlong from Terminator 2 as well as Dee Wallace and Chico Mendez in The Forest Hills. The film revolves around a man who, while camping in the Catskill Mountains, sustains a head injury and starts seeing unsettling visions. The figure of Mendez's mother, portrayed by Duvall, was his inner voice. Brewster McLeod a 1970 black comedy picture, Mark Duvall's feature film debut. She went on to star in several other movies, including Annie Hall, McCabe and Mrs. Miller, and Popeye. In 2021, Shelley talked to The Hollywood Reporter for the first time since her alarming TV conversation with Dr. Phil. She talked about her difficult days of filming with Kubrick, who was known for being a strict disciplinarian. Duvall revealed that in order to stay in character for The Shining director, 
she had to force herself to think in a panicky manner all the time. Kubrick doesn't print anything until at least the 35th take, according to Duval. It gets difficult after 35 takes, running, weeping, and carrying a small boy. And the entire first rehearsal performance. That is challenging. She claimed that in order to get in the right frame of mind for playing Wendy Torrance, she would turn on a Sony Walkman, listen to depressing music, or simply look back on painful experiences. You simply consider a particularly depressing event in your life or how much you miss your loved ones, Duval said. But eventually your body starts to object. Stop doing this to me. It reads. I want to stop crying every day. And on occasion, I would cry at the mere thought that I would immediately start weeping when I would wake up early on a Monday morning and realize that I had to cry all day because it was scheduled. I would think to myself, Oh no, I can't, I can't. Still, I succeeded in doing it. I'm not sure how I managed it. That's what Jack also told me. I don't know how you do it, he remarked. THR questioned her if she thought Kubrick had treated her particularly cruelly or abusively to get the performance they wanted for the movie. He's got that streak in him, Duval replied. He most certainly has that. However, I believe it's primarily because he's been treated that way in the past by others. Killer's Kiss and The Killing were his first two motion pictures. The star was questioned by the piece's writer, Seth Abramovich, to go into further detail about the director's handling of her. No she replied. I felt really welcomed and cordial with him. He was very much with Jack and me. All he wanted to do was take a seat and talk for hours as the crew waited. Stanley, we have about 60 people waiting, the team would say. But the work was really significant. Angelica Houston, a fellow actress who was dating Nicholson at the time, remembers Duvall and Kubrick's exchanges very differently. I felt, certainly from what Jack was saying at the time, that Shelley was having trouble just dealing with the emotional content of the piece, the actress remarked. Brewster McLeod, a 1970 black comedy picture, marked Duvall's feature film debut. She went on to star in several other movies, including Annie Hall, McCabe and Mrs. Miller, and Popeye. Manna from Heaven, a 2002 feature film, featured Duvall in his final role before The Forest Hills. The actress retired and withdrew from public life after the film's premiere. Eventually, in 2016, she appeared on a Dr. Phil episode where she discussed her experiences battling with mental illness. After that, the host of the show came under fire for what many perceived to be his exploitation of the singer. Writer, director, and producer of The Forest Hills, Scott Goldberg, expressed to Deadline how much he and his partners admired Duvall's performance in the Stanley Kubrick-directed film from 1980. He declared, we are big fans of The Shining and it's honestly one of my favorite horror films ever, right up there with Halloween directed by John Carpenter and Day of the Dead by George A. Romero. The director continued by discussing how the actress's role contributed to the overall identity of the film. Shelley gave her all and performed in a way that really showcased the fear and horror of a mother in isolation, which contributed to The Shining being an absolute masterpiece. The man stated,